Okay, so before we go any further, um, I want to actually go in and fix this issue with the motion group. We, when we added the motion group on the uh, one of our pre previous videos, what we did is we forgot to actually come up here to our pro, our actual controller, and change our time synchronization. So anytime, what I want to do is clarify this too. And if you've been through any of my motion courses or been through any of my servo courses, then you know that you're supposed to have your processor in time synchronization mode. Now this enables the processor to properly control and time the servo and the positions of the, you know, how it's actually interpreting the data from the encoders of the servos. So uh, with that, it gives proper controls and everything properly timed and everything's actually, you know, the, the best it possibly can. So this is the motion group we talked about. Uh, we have to be off offline when we do this. So let's go offline. And then we're going to change our controller properties. So we're going to go to controller uh, properties and you can actually if you want to just click that open or you can come down to your controller right here and open properties down here same thing uh, they both get to the same exact spot so this is a date and time and this is what you're supposed to enable on any kind of uh, system that uses a servo system right so unless this is a system that is Say, for instance, this is a processor that is being uh, s controlled from a, uh, basically it's acting as a, a slave or a secondary, then it would not be a match. It would not be time synchronization. But if it is the only processor that's controlling the servos that is in its servo group, then time synchronization is the actual needs to be checked. This little checkbox under date and time and this little checkbox right here and you hit apply and you hit OK. Now, when we download, and the reason I said uh, this right here is that it, this has to be the time synchronization process, all right? So if you go right here, this time synchronization has to be checked on if the, the only place these servos are controlled and the data is actually being uh, driven from, you know, as far as like who's controlling the time of the, da of the data from the actual servos then it has to be turned on and and now if there's another processor that is controlling this motion group as far as giving some kind of auxiliary command or maybe you've given a, a you know some kind of uh, uh you know purport, like feed or or something to follow in this case so this this controller would act as a uh, slave value to another processor then you would not check this this uh checkbox but again if this is the only controller and ours is this is the only controller that is controlling the three the the servos that we have and in our case we have the pump one pump two pump three in our motion group this is the only controller controlling that and monitoring that system we need to have time synchronization turned on this is why i want to make this video and make sure that i highlighted that because when i made the motion group before we talked about a lot of stuff really quick and I want to make sure that we we kind of slow down back up and understand why and understand what we need to do right so and to do that properly time synchronization needs to be turned on if you are running a motion group inside of your processor and you are controlling the servos of that processor right so at that point we'll click OK we'll go up to communications go who active and we're gonna download one more time and then, then we should not have any kind of errors in our processor, right? So with this said, I just wanna make a quick video showing this because clarity is really, really what everybody's after. And passing the, as much knowledge on as you can about how things should properly be done is important. So, you know, I care about you guys learning and I care about, you know, giving the proper information. So as you see, there are no errors in our program now and where everything is good because we have time synchronization on and uh, like I said I just want to make a video explaining that so with that said we'll see you guys on the next one